from your nouns to pronouns to articles to adjectives to adverbs, conjunctions, prepositions. Every part of it was touched upon. OK, it's not like, you know, only the tenses have been highlighted. So I just thought maybe only one or two. But then I realized that no, every uh, other part was also uh, taken into account. So when you're doing it, I think you need to be very thorough with all the uh, all your uh, grammatical parts, like, you know, the parts of the speech. When you're talking about the parts of the speech, you know, you have your nouns, the pronouns. Uh, in the nouns, I think, yeah, the nouns where they proper nouns were used. I'm just because I thought I'll have a, uh, what do you call it, a whiteboard. Maybe I could have write, written something, but then I don't find where, uh, you know, how it is. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just uh, talking now. So when you're talking about the, uh, you know, nouns, there are proper nouns. Again, in proper nouns, you have many things. You know, when you use na uh, names, you don't use the. For certain things, you use the, okay, where the, the definite and the indefinite articles are used in proper nouns, in front of proper nouns, how, you know, before proper nouns, that has been one of the major things I've seen. Then how you use adverbs and adjectives, okay? That is again, uh, they've used uh, like you know, for superlatives, two types of adjectives have been used. Like, you know, the most uh, beautiful, uh, so, or, you know, when you call it the bigger, the big, bigger, biggest, for example, they have written it as most bigger. The most bigger is a wrong usage because bigger or, uh, you know, biggest is already the superlative. So you don't use most before, uh, uh, what do you call it? Biggest, right? It's most beautiful, most important something like that. So these things, when you are very much aware of uh, your uh, parts of speech and the grammatical mistakes, you can uh, find out. And the other thing is a very common mistake I've seen that, you know, in the questions also, and when the kids actually, the students do is, they use uh, the past, the, the past form of the word with did. I did not ate it. I did not uh, went. He, he did not went to the uh, college, okay? He did not ate his food. He did not knew. That's very, very wrong. With did, you never use the uh, past tense. You always use the verb V1. That is a present format. He did not eat his food. He did not do his homework. Not did, okay? He did not uh, learn his uh, poem. He did not go to school. He did not whatever. It will be always the present form of it and not the past form. So remember this because this has been repeated in many, many papers and I've seen this common mistake with did always a past is used and that's very wrong. And even in your common when you're talking uh, in your common daily usage also, I've heard it very commonly. Uh, people even not only uh, you students, many people do this mistake. I did not knew that's wrong. I did not know the answer. So remember that is again one thing which is very important. And another thing what I was again going through was the past uh, perfect tenses, you know, has been. So when the perfect tenses, it's always the third form of the verb. That is your past participle. So you have your uh, present, the past and the past participle. Like, you know, had, like eat, ate, eaten, right? That's how it is. Uh, uh, he, um, what do you call? He uh, write, wrote, written. Right, break, broke, broken. So with the past perfect or the perfect tenses, we always use the third form. That is your past participle form of your verbs, okay? So these are the little few things which you remember. Uh, you know, it's easier. Again, how uh, your uh, a, an, and the are used. A is used as an indefinite article. The is used as a definite article. When you're saying there's a bird on a tree, there is a bird because it's a just any bird. But when you're talking about that specific bird, in the next sentence, it becomes the bird was blue in color because you're talking about this specific, uh, specific bird. So you need to remember even that. And when you're using before articles, you know, that wobbles, you know, a and so. But, but again, there are times when you use an, like, you know, an honorable man. So H is silent here. You're using an for honor. So those little uh, things which if you remember, I think that will be easy for you. I'll just show you the tips because I was just going through and I just uh, jotted down a few things for y'all tips. Let us just go. And let me know if you're able to see the screen because, okay, I hope everybody has seen the screen. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
so here again certain nouns being a singular form represent plurality and therefore take a plural verb in the sentence for example people people is a uh, takes a plural form the many people so it being even a collective noun we never say people has left that's incorrect it's always people have left is always the correct form of it okay then certain nouns take the plural verb because of the plural form for example spectacles it's always we never write spectacle it's always spectacles s is there so spectacles scissors they all plural always so remember that spectacles my spectacles are missing it's never my spectacles is missing my scissors are missing you never even if it is one scissor you have it but when you say it it's a scissors okay my scissors are missing okay so it's always plural the second thing is when a noun is denoting a weight number money length or so the noun form does not change as long as it another changes i'll give you the example of it right for example this is 9 meter scale no this is a 9 meter if you're having a meter the whole meter it is not plural it's a 9 meter scale this is a 9 yard sari okay so we are using a singular verb for it okay and then when the pronoun one is used it should be maintained throughout the whole sentence one must help one's siblings okay it's not his or her siblings okay whenever you're at one must do one's homework one must study by oneself it's like that okay so whenever there is a pronoun one this question also children just uh, students uh, see to it this also has been repeated many times and i think the one uh, this is a, a question which has been repeated many times in the paper so this is also one of the things okay so remember whenever there is a question with one the answer i mean it should be like if you're giving options one must help one sibling that's the correct form of it okay for living people whose is generally used for things that are non living and which is used for non living okay for example whose phone is charging you never say which phone is charging this is whose phone is this whose papers are lying over there okay whose water bottle is this okay when you're asking somebody this is that is whose okay it's not which that's, that's a wrong uh, thing so this is one more thing which you need to remember few fewer is denoted with number and less is denoted for quantity so what is number uh, i think you have read in nouns that countable nouns and uncountable nouns right so the countable nouns are which you can count and uncountable nouns are which are not able to count and you have the quantity like you know there's less sugar at home you never say there's fewer sugar at home there's less coffee or there's less rice which is not countable but when you count something like apples oranges bananas what do you say we have fewer apples at home or there are fewer bananas left okay because you can count bananas you can count apples but you cannot count sugar coffee or tea or rice so that's when you use less so fewer you used to denote number and less is used to denote quantity so no less 30 no less than 30 dogs were there so it is incorrect because less is for quantity so what will you say the correct form would be no fewer than 30 dogs were there okay now i just uh, i want ma'am please send ppt in whatsapp sure i'll uh, screen is not shared uh, let me just see okay one more sorry children uh now are you able to see now were you able to see just write down so that i'll go back one more time then were you able to see the screen now just now when you you weren't able to see the screen now
will not oh okay what's happening let me just uh, check okay one minute just let me just check So you able to see now? Just now when I shared, were you able to see see the screen? Happening. Are you able to see now, students? Not still no. This is happening when I use it. So okay, let me just uh, one thing. Okay, can somebody just uh, whoever is your uh, uh, unmute all the students? Will that be possible? I'm just not able to see because. I hope now you are able to see. Are you able to see students? No. No, ma'am. You are not able to see the screen. Yes, yes, ma'am. You can see or you cannot. We can. We cannot see. We cannot. OK, I'll do one thing. I'll just log off and log in one more time. OK, give me two minutes. Just be there. I'll just see why is it that I can see it. It has been presented. See, it's showing that you are presenting, right? Uh, yeah. Presenting. It's showing that I'm presenting. Are you able to see now? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. How about now? No, ma'am. I thought so. You're not able to even see now. Okay, let me just log off and just uh, see if I can do something. Okay, give me one minute. Okay, ma'am, it's better. <laughs>
Right now, I think let me just see. Um, OK, can you all hear me? Students, can you hear me? Can you just write it in the OK? Good. So let me just see if uh, you can see. Now. So are you able to see? No, ma'am. No, ma no. No, no. Why is it not? How is it possible? Why is it not being presented as something even I'm not able to understand? OK, let me just see if something else. Can you see this at least a plain PPT presentation? No, ma'am. Not able to see um, any presentation now. Why is it so? What is happening? Are you able to no, see? No, yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. We no. are able to see you, ma'am, not the screen. Are you able to see me, but not the screen? And why is it that so? Is something which is really bothering me also. Hmm, because when I open it, I can see there are a lot of things here and. Hmm. Mom, can you please share in WhatsApp so that we'll parallelly run both of the both both of the like the class and also the PDF at the back. How can you do that? Can you we can we do that? Yeah. No. Someone no. NLP team has uh, opened their Google Map. Why is it, can can help me tell why is it that I'm not able to share my screen? Is there um, some problem? What is the problem? OK, are you able to see now students? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh, God. OK, so how do we go about it now? It's saying that whenever I'm showing here sharing, it's sharing, stop sharing and sharing. So without this, because there is no. Do you know how uh, is there a whiteboard here? If if anybody can help me out with the whiteboard in teams, do you know? Any, uh, does anybody know? Because I so uh, today I was just looking for it and I saw that the end of it there is something called a whiteboard when you're presenting, but here I don't see a whiteboard either. Have you seen? Uh, are you able to see this now? No, ma'am. No. OK, I think we're wasting our time with this. So let us see. yeah, tell me what is the other option you're telling? What were you all telling? Um, just once you get signed out and then I can sign back now. We are able to see Sister Vishal Garu. Are you able to see you and you are able to listen you? I'm Kalyan Sairam. Yeah, yeah, Sairam. No, no, Kalyan. I just what I wanted to know is I was able to share my screens, you know, whatever the PPTs and the materials yesterday, day before. Today I'm unable to uh, share is something which I'm not able to understand. Why is it? Because for me it is showing that it is being shared. But uh, yeah, see. Just, no, no. Just once you log off and log in. That will be the one point. Just you log off, log in. I that will be the, sometimes the problem. Once just you log off and log in. So that it, the problem will be this at maximum. Just do it. Otherwise uh, that will be good. Sarah, madam will be joining shortly. So I told her. Please be waiting. Mm -hmm.
हेलो हेलो सैरम हेलो okay so this is the last time we'll try we'll see if we can uh, share otherwise we i'll just go with whatever verbal and uh, i just want to help with uh, now i we are we able to see because it's showing i'm presenting yes. now we are able to see huh? okay thank you thank you kalyan yeah so sure so uh, sir anytime so uh, maybe not be in the class anytime if you got this problem just log in log off that will be getting the problem i did it thank i did it earlier but i think there was some problem thank you thank you and i just wanted to know uh, kalyan that you are here uh, do we have a whiteboard facility here because i was going through uh, the app in the morning and i saw that when you presenting at the end that yes. comes the whiteboard yeah, we have, we have whiteboard uh, i'll take a separate section to you with my uh, technical guy so he will he will he will guide you in the next class how you can use whiteboard okay okay Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, thank you. We'll uh, conduct interview. Today, as to now, today you continue the class. Yeah, I can continue uh, the class today. Yeah, we can ask me to. Yeah, sure. Thank uh, you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Kalyan. Yeah. Yes, students, you wanted to tell something. Somebody was talking. Should I start from the beginning where we did because we are not able to see the screen, or should I just uh, go from where I started, where I stopped? Okay, all are un not unmuted. Uh, okay, uh, Kalyan or somebody, can you just unmute all of them? Sairam, that will be nice if you could unmute the students. Uh, Sairam. Continue, ma'am. Yeah, if you can just unmute everyone, that will be nice, okay? I think you can be unmuted. So I will continue from where we started. I think, right? Uh, I'll just share again. Yeah, yeah. So it's here. So we just uh, read about how the nouns will take the plural and the singular form, and then again I said scissors and your uh, what is it called? Your uh, trousers, spectacles. All these are always in the uh, plural form. So th my trousers are missing. You never say my trousers is missing. OK, the spectacles are. So whenever it is, yes, you should remember those uh, uh, little things. OK, the spectacles are missing. So when I said whenever the noun is denoting weight, number, money, length is followed by a number, the noun form does not change. So it is a nine meter scale. It's not a nine meter scale. And again, when I said one is used, it is followed by again oneself or one. One should do one's homework. It's never one should do his or her. OK, that's the correct way of telling. And then again, whose is for uh, uh, your uh, people, living things, you know, whose phone is this, whose charger is this, whose water bottle is missing, like and which is we use for non-living thing, OK? Which of the animals is the largest or or uh, which tree is the tallest one, which building uh, is uh, the most beautiful in the world. We never say whose building is beautiful, no, which building. So whenever we're using for non-living forms, we're using which and for the living forms we use whose. So remember those because uh, these are little, little things. If you remember, I think uh, a lot of the questions are very simple, but then they're very tricky. So you need to know the little uh, rules of it or, uh, you know, when you use it very uh, often in your language, it will be very uh, easy for you all. So again, fewer and less, as I said, more, much, many, many again, like fewer using for number, many also use for uh, the larger number. 
and more for the quantity. You know, I have uh, more uh, or many apples. I, we never say more apples. We have many apples and I have uh, more sugar than more coffee. So something like that because uncountable and countable nouns again. So I hope that is clear. Uh, OK, so sentences are always opposite to question tags. For example, if the question tag is positive, then the sentence is is negative and vice versa. It's a bit early, is it? Is incorrect. So we say it's a bit a bit early, isn't it? Uh, you are early to the program, aren't you? We never say, are you? Um, you know, you're early to the party. Are you? Is a wrong thing. Are you are early to the party, aren't you? Or you are so you're not you're working late tonight, aren't you? So it's always the negative uh, question we use. So this is the right form. Again, instead of who or which, the relative pronoun that is used after adjectives in the superlative degree. We have uh, told what are the three forms of degrees of adjectives, positive, comparative and superlative. What is a positive is like, you know, good. The comparative is better and the superlative is best. So these are the best which he could do is well, wrong. Yeah, tell me. Any doubt? Even if you tell me that if you think that I'm going a little fast also students, you can just stop me and tell ma'am you're a little fast also. OK, not a problem because in the flow of it, maybe I'm just rushing. I feel uh, if you feel that ma'am is a little faster, then maybe we can just go a little slow. So adjectives, you know adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are the describing words, the words that describe the noun. So we have three forms of adjectives, the positive, the comparative and the superlative. So positive. For this best we use normally for the superlative, we always use that and not who or which. Who and which are normally the relative pronouns. Okay, that, which, who are all relative pronouns. So uh, here these are the best that he could do. It's not which he could do or who he could do. That is the correct form. Again, remember for the superlative thumb rule, you always use the. The definite uh, pronoun the is used for the superlative degree of your adjective. This is the tallest building in the town. He is the most melodious singer in the choir. OK, she is the most uh, famous dancer uh, in the country or uh, Sachin Tendulkar is the best cricket player of the Indian uh, cricket team. So when you're talking about the superlative, you use the, the best, the most beautiful, the biggest, the whatever. So with the superlative, it is always the. And when you're using the comparative between two, it is always than. It isn't there. I'm just giving you the tip so that, you know, when it is there, you can just maybe if you have a paper and a pen, you can note down. That's why I wanted a, a whiteboard. Than, like, you know, this is larger than. He is taller. Ram is taller than Ravi. Sheila is shorter than Rita. Or um, India played better cricket than or uh, any other whatever, or, or you know, who, who won. England played better cricket than India in the semi-finals. So when you're comparing two things, you use than, okay? That is again a thumb rule. And for the positive, it is always as. Like, you know, she is as, Rita is as good as Meeta. She, uh, uh, sugar is as sweet as jaggery. Or uh, you can say a tamarind is as sour as, lemon so when you're using the positive degree it is always as so with the degrees or the uh, adjectives i've just given you three so you remember this three things for your degrees of uh, adjectives okay now coming to as is used both before the and after the adjective to show equality see i can write as fast as that's what i told you degree the positive degree of uh, adjectives I can write as fast, if not faster than her. You say I can write as fast as, if not faster than her is the correct version. Okay, though is always followed by yet in a sentence and not by but. Okay, this is uh, these are a little tricky. I said you remember if you remember your uh, things will be better. Though he is a rich kid, he is kind, but he is kind is not correct. Though is a rich kid. Oh, he, though he is rich, yet he is kind okay then not is never used unless 
or as unless expression a condition that is always used in the negative sense like you know unless you do not play pay the fine you will not be excused is you're using double negatives here so that is not correct unless you pay the fine you will not be excused or unless you do your homework you will not get a uh, the chocolate or unless you finish your homework you don't you will not get to watch the movie you never say oh. unless you do not do your homework you will not you will not get to watch the movie so there are double negatives here we never use two negatives in in a sentence okay that's not correct so unless you do not pay is wrong unless you pay your fine you will not be excused while implies a time duration of during something and when denotes a general sense okay when learning how to box the technique of okay technique of something what happened are you able to see what is it technique of atmos yeah uh the technique is of utmost importance so it is not when uh, you know a learning to box it is the correct word what you use is while 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 you're learning to box the technique is of utmost importance so when you're doing those uh, uh, you know uh, what do you call it um, they'll give you these types of things only when you're reading it sounds very fine you feel oh when learning how to box the technique is correct but then no it is it should be while so these are the little little things which uh, are very confusing in spotting the errors okay then again there are other things like you know read the sentence carefully there are the, this is the foremost step to the process there are many times there are spelling mistakes in any part of a sentence even because of the spelling part also they can be spot the errors for example and then you have to uh, check for them just giving you the rules okay the helping verbs for example all the subjects this uh, you know the subject and the verb agreement right the subject the verb has to agree with the subject so for example a, a, sub, a sentence has three parts the subject the verb and the object okay the subject is a doer the verb is a, the doing verb uh, the whatever the action word and the object is where the uh, the action has been done on whom the action has been done for example uh, he is throwing a ball so he it becomes a subject throwing becomes your verb and a ball becomes your object because the action what he's doing is throwing a ball and is is your helping or the auxiliary verb which is helping throwing because it is a continuous tense again again you have in the uh, in your verbs also in your tenses you have your present past future or uh, uh, then you have in the present you have your present continuous present perfect past then past then past continuous past perfect then the same thing with the future so you have to see how the verbs and which is the tense okay that's very important so if all the nouns are singular the helping verb is has does was what happened just a minute students one minute So the helping verb is he is doing, she is doing, it was or is. Okay, when it is I, I it is never I is. It is I am, I was, I do. Okay, just remember he will never be do. He does his work, she does his work. Okay, she does. Sorry, she does her work, he does his work. I do my work. I don't. do my work okay he does his work he doesn't do his work she doesn't do his work so here many times you do a mistake is he don't know he don't write he don't answer she don't answer is very very wrong english it is she doesn't know he doesn't know i don't know i doesn't is again wrong you'll never use does with i i don't know i do he does she does they do you do understood again you have your first person second person and the third person pronouns here then all the nouns 
So when you have all, like you know, plural, I am, we are, they are. I have, they have, we have. Right? I was doing my work, she was doing my work, they were doing their work. Okay? So again, the what do you call it? Uh, uh, the uh, tenses, the plural tenses, you have to see where. Okay? Again, the subject and the verb agreement, how it works. Okay? And then main verbs in a sentence, uh, check for the correct usage of the main verb in the sentence. Okay? Do, does, does is the first form of the main verb. Has, have, had is the third form, right? It is with the, normally we use it in your perfect tenses and the passive voices, right? And uh, with has, have, had, you use your third form. What is the third form? That is your past participle form. Yesterday, I think, Charan, you only had given me the question, right? It has a past the participle. Let me just go. What was the question, Charan, you uh, asked in the, in, you circled it. Uh, if you can just read out that. I'm sorry, I'm not able to find that. Yes, ma'am. One question you had given, right? Yes, ma'am. Yesterday, yes, ma what was that? Yes, ma'am. Somebody, that was a conditional sentence. Okay. So whenever we using have, has, and had, we always use the the part, part past participle part of uh, the verb. Okay. Uh, so participle is like he had eaten his food. We have eaten our uh, breakfast. He has broken his leg. They had gone for the party they have uh, you know they went they had went is wrong english they had gone they went is simple past they had gone is your past perfect tense so whenever there is has have and had you always use a third form of the word or the past participle i hope i'm uh, making myself clear children are there any doubts still now Students, uh, are you able to understand till now? Yeah, ma'am. Okay, who is it? Vishnupri, who said? Okay. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Clear till now, uh, or you want me to go a little slow? It's fine, right? Okay, fine. It's fine, ma'am. Okay, so now uh, coming to the next part of it. Right. If it is the future tense, will be, shall be, would be, should be, it is all like, you know, okay, so will, shall, I shall, yes, I shall go to the market today. I will go to the uh, uh, park. I'll go to buy my clothes. I never say I will gone to buy my clothes or, or I will went to uh, buy my clothes. That's a wrong English, right? So whenever you're using the Future tense shall, well, uh, would, should. It should be always the first form that is your uh, the normal, the present form of the verb. And then when it be, will be, shall be, would be, should be, it will be always ing. And you use ing with always a thumb rule with your continuous tenses. Okay, present continuous, past continuous, future continuous, any continuous ing is the action that's been continuing. That's why when you use your Continuous tense, right? That is how that is why it is called the continuous because the action is still happening. So it is raining means it's just happening or it has been raining this time yesterday means by this time it was raining. So the continuous form of it you use ing. So will be, shall be, would be, should be is always used for ing. For example, I shall be wearing my red sari for the party or um, what would you be wearing for? your uh, investiture ceremony or your farewell uh, party. So when you're asking a question also, you're asking ING, right? He will be singing uh, his favorite song for all of us, something like that. So should you be worrying about your results? So whenever I'm asking a question also, it is ING I'm putting, okay? So remember it will be, will be, shall be, would be, should be, will always have ING form of the word. So always check if the sentence is framed in active or passive voice or direct or indirect speech. It is very, very important. So when it is active voice, it will be like, you know, for example, I'm just giving you. Uh, I. Uh, I he broke the window. Active voice, right now change it to passive voice. Can you, any one of you? He broke the window. 
The window was broken by him. The window was broken by him. The window was broken by him. Correct. Pass. So if I'm saying he is breaking the window. The window is being break by him. The window the, is the being, window being broken, broken, by, broken him. by him. Not broken, broken by him. Correct. And he was breaking the window. Same the window thing. was being broken. Uh, the window was being broken by him. So you understand. So whenever the passive and the active, you have to see the tense also. If it is a present tense, the passive becomes the uh, he is breaking the window. It becomes past perfect. You know, he uh, the window was being broken by him. It is a past perfect continuous tense. So is that is how the passive becomes. OK, even the direct and indirect speech. For example, I, he said I will go to the party. So how would the indirect or the reported speech be? He said he will go to the he said in inverted commas, I will go to the party. He told that he reported, will... reported, reported, huh? He, he said I will. He said, oh, he told that. He will. He would go to the party. Yes, he would. So it becomes would. Correct. So very tricky. So you need to see that. OK, and those these things are what they are actually giving in the examinations. OK, to confuse you all. So normally we'll say he said that he will. Uh, he told that he will go to the parties what you write, but then you'll have to see that it will it the will becomes would. Correct. Check the correct usage of all the tenses in this uh, sentence for indefinite tenses, continuous, perfect, present, perfect, everything. And if a sentence is in the past, the first, you know, uh, the main, uh, the, the clause is in the past, the, the, what do you call it, the subordinate or clauses will be the, in the active, uh, sorry, uh, the past tense only, right? You know, he had said that, then it will be continuous in the past tense only. So they have, uh, you know, when they're giving a long sentence, the first part of the sentence will be in the past and the second part in the uh, present tense. So you have to see those tenses also very clearly. Then in case of perfect continuous tense, always remember that for is used for denoting a period of time or duration. OK, while well, since is used for denoting the point of time. Understood? Since it was raining since yesterday night. So when you're telling, you know, for uh, time, two months, two years, right? Used for duration of period and uh, since is denoting the point of time since yesterday, since tonight, since uh, 1959. So we have been trying for uh, uh, since uh, we have been uh, fighting for the case since that time. So for and since you have to remember. Check for the correct usage of the folly. Very important there and there. OK, T-H-E-I-R, T-H-E-R-E and T-H-E-I-R. This is a possessive pronoun and this is the uh, the adverb that denotes my book is there. Means T-H-E-R-E. This is their book. So you somebody's book. So it again tells you about the possessiveness, right? So these two things you'll have to who, whoever, whom, whoever. OK, subject and the object. This is also very important. Like, you know, he is the subject pronoun and him is the object pronoun, right? He is going to the market. Then uh, uh, he asked him to give give the ball to her, not to she. So object pronoun is always uh, what do you call it? Uh, him, her, them, OK? And the subject pronouns are uh, he, she, all those, OK? They, who is your subject pronoun? Well, whoever is your object pronoun, right? Who and whoever is your, sorry, subject pronouns and whom and whoever are your object pronouns. So remember object and this. Whose, 
used to identify who owns what okay whose book is this whose phone is this when you are questioning okay then denotes time and mostly used with if while than denotes comparison these two the t h e n and t h a n they can give you the spellings interchange okay and you say he is taller than rishi is taller than uh, samrat he can they can give you this or at that point of time then if he would not have come for example i'm just giving you then this then will come and not this then okay and again check for the correct usage of articles articles very important indefinite articles a used with all the consonant sounds an is used with all the vowel sounds okay and definite article uh, the is used when you are talking about something specific like historic places planets names of the continent countries oceans rivers you never say the america okay you say the no. united states of america yeah yeah Ah, uh, A E I O E, but there are again some ah uh, ah uh, what do you call it exceptions also when you use and like you know ah um, ah uh, our H O U R N R okay because it is H is silent honest university A E I O U uh, hmm yeah then ah uh, European you never say an he is a European why. Whenever there is an European hmm. you. EU, do you write Europe? Ah, uh, for Europe yeah. and yeah, no, you never yeah. write yes. an. It is a a a u. Yeah. The sound is y because here again Continent. the phonetics. Yeah, exactly the sounds you're talking about again. So English is a very very sometimes like you know little you can say tricky language. There are times when you really need to understand European. You never use an use. A because it is consonant. The, yeah, no, it's a vowel. E is a vowel. E is not a consonant, but the sound. The sound is a consonant. Sound. 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 Superlative adjectives also, and the superlative adjectives also. When I was uh, going through your papers, it's not here. For example, when you say uh, Taj, uh, for example, for example, Burj Khalifa is the tallest building, is the tallest building in Dubai. For example, if I'm telling, okay, Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in Dubai. So it's a singular building, but when you say The Burj Khalifa is one of the tallest. When you're saying it is Bills. one of the tallest buildings, 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 because it is one among many buildings. Yes, so that then it will become S. Okay, remember this question has been repeated many times. One of the, then it will become plural, and it is only the like. Uh, she is the most melodious singer. in the choir or in the country so she is only the one so then you're using singer she is one of the most singer. melodious singers because one she is one among many okay again this is superlative using the and the plural so this has been repeated many times i've seen this question okay and the with this the there are many many uh, 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 questions where uh, the errors have been there okay check for the correct usage of proper nouns and if they are written in capital letters remember always capital letters for uh what do you call it uh proper nouns but never there is a a capital letter in front of a name you never say the usha ma'am you never say uh it for anybody as name you know the neeta arora no it's neeta arora only okay So remember the capital letters always start with uh, the capitals for the proper nouns. But even the proper nouns for names for certain things you never use the. Okay, for countries normally you never say you say the Republic of India, but you never say the India. Okay, so those things you need to uh, be very careful about. 
Check for the correct usage of noun, pronouns, adjectives, adverbs. Okay, because yesterday I was seeing somewhere it's written, you know, they were uh, huh, flying, the birds were flying fastly. So is there any word called fastly? Adverb? Adjective. No. Fastly. Uh, uh, so you never you normally say quickly but there's nothing you know you never use fastly he ran very fast or he ran quick or run quickly we say okay reach quickly we never say slowly but we never say fastly, okay? So that's a very wrong usage, okay? Always remember that generally if one part of a sentence is in the past tense, the other half also should always be in the past tense. This is something which is there, okay? Okay, now there are a few examples. Let's see if you can find out. The inflation rate is currently high in India. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you if yes, you can just uh, see those questions and answer. Okay, which is the correct one? I just want to see if I could. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, wait. I, went, I had a few exercises for y'all. Let me just check if you can see the exercises. Okay. Ha, Seema is not smarter than my brother when it comes to playing chess. Which is uh, which part is uh, actually the answer is given here. But you saw here it is then they have given students. Then. Then. It should be then. Okay. So A is the wrong. Okay. So answer this B is the wrong part. Because to comparison it is the. It has been proved multiple times that Rhea is a honest girl. Which is the error here? Then. Honest. O, H is silent, so honest. and honest, oh, right? Uh, so, just small, small things. You, when you read, you feel, oh, it's correct, it's correct, but it isn't correct, okay? The inspector asked Rahul to report to police station as soon as he comes from office. Is the inspector asked Rahul to report to the police station as soon as he... Came. 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 Why did it came? came? Because he asked. The first asked. part is in the past tense. The second uh, part also should be in the past tense. Past, okay. Past. Yes. Past. My mother. Ma'am, can't we use? Can't we use come from the office because uh, the the first part was asked as soon as he come from the office. Can't see, we use? See, subject and verb agreement. He comes. They come. He writes. Subject yeah. and the verb agreement, okay? She sings. She yeah. sings a song. He comes, he goes. They come. Even as a sing, uh, in a subject and the verb agreement, he come is a wrong, uh, because the verb will not agree with the subject. Okay? Comes is the present okay, form okay, of the, uh, the, what do you call it, uh, the verb. Fine, this is correct. But then this isn't correct because this is asked is in the plural. So this, sorry, what plural I'm talking. This is in the past tense. So past this tense. also should be in the past tense. Okay. Okay, children, here again, as uh, who is asking me comes, uh, who asked me this question? Sorry. Vishnu Priya. Ma. Ah, Vishnu Priya, okay. Vishnu Priya, you should remember always, okay, for the singular, the the subject has to agree with the verb. The singular uh, uh, subject, if the subject is singular, the verb has to be singular. The subject is plural, the verbs have to be the plural. For example, when the subject is singular, for example, he, he, the verb takes the plural form, comes, C-O-M-E-S. He comes from office, 
they come from office he goes to office they go to office okay the student goes the students go understood yeah ma'am understood ma'am yeah so the only for this okay but then again when there are other things like they are going she is going again here the subject is taking they the subject is taking the the verb is taking the plural because a plural form because the subject uh, plural here they are the students are going okay one student the student is going is are so you should remember the subject verb agreement is very very important my mother was reading times of india newspaper and she found a really scary news so here the article the has to be there because the times of india you're talking about it's a proper noun and the times of india is the correct form so this is b is a wrong one the answers are given i thought if it wasn't it was good whose did you bump in at their party yesterday is it correct whose Who? did you bump no you you bumped with somebody in the party there okay at their party whose party their party the t h e r is also wrong and whose is also wrong right whom did you bump into at their party yesterday that is the correct form i could not reach there because it had been raining for last night see yesterday we just talked for and since remember yes, so it had been raining since till now so it is not for it is since so this is a wrong i could not reach there because it had been raining it is it had been reading is what form of uh, the verb continuous continuous what continuous past perfect continuous had been raining it has yes, been yeah, it has been raining present perfect continuous okay past. remember that past perfect continuous Continu has been raining since yesterday or since last night okay right so you never use for or if you say that you know uh, uh, i could not reach there because it has been raining for quite some time or it has been raining for a very long time that is a correct one you never say for last night it has been raining it had been raining for a very long time or it has been raining for 3 hours when you are specifying the time that is correct okay yeah okay although she is facing hardships in her life rather she never deviates from the path of truthfulness <laughs> they say here that yet is used with the conjunctions although and though although okay although she is facing hardships in her life yet she never deviates from the path of truthfulness so these are the little tips which you must remember that whenever there is an although and though you use yet and with rather what is come there's another uh, word that comes with ra uh, rather then rather than than yeah. yeah than it's always and in many questions they have asked when okay rather when she went so then you should always remember that when is not used with rather it's always than so whenever there is a sentence you always i know that you all know this so this is okay seeing aditya involved upon the murder case is it correct upon the murder case his friends are turning hostile no somebody is involved in a case not upon the case okay that's a wrong uh, uh, you use it okay seeing aditya involved in the murder murder case his friends are turning so why is are turning uh, wrong here because the first part is involved it is a past tense the second part also has to be past tense so his friends turned or had turned hostile okay so from this is past the second half will also be past so i had a few other uh, papers to be solved but i think uh, 
really don't know if I can share them here. So is there any other doubt students? Any doubts where you find it? Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. So uh, what's the time? OK, do you want to do one word for some time or uh, should we uh, close the class for today? What do you think? As you wish, ma'am. Oh, I'm OK, I'm just fine. I, if you all have I'm also, we are also OK, ma'am. OK, so uh, I was just saying. Uh, uh, yes, yes, students. So you understood now the tips. I will send it to you in the PDF yesterday. I thought I'll send all of them. I'll put it. So any doubts till now what we have done? Ma'am, no doubt, ma'am. Class was very interesting. I yesterday message the morning message you also received. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Charan, is there any other doubt you have or anything you want? To be clarified. No. It's clear, man. It's clear. Yeah, because remember the tenses, if the sentence is in the past, it is past. You have to see if it is an active voice, a passive voice, direct or indirect speech. Even for the rules of active and passive voice, I, I'll take in the next class because, okay. uh, as I said, is broken, was broken, had been broken. Those, if it is in the present tense, the uh, you know the passive becomes uh, what do you call a simple uh, past perfect so those things you need to remember even the direct and the indirect speech is also a little bit of those things and spelling errors there are many spelling errors and the definite articles and uh, did not is very 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 important children okay he did not went he did not gone he did not ate even not for your exams normally when you're talking also Make it a thumb rule. You don't use such language, OK? He did not go with, did not. It is always the first. And I can't able to is a very wrong English when you say, you know, I am not able to understand or I can't understand what you're saying. I can't able to is a very wrong thing. Very common usage, OK? Uh, yeah, and conditioners yesterday we were like, uh, what was that you were talking about? Um, I don't know what the conditional sentences. If I had a few of them, maybe I will. I'll just see in the next class. I'll just um, prepare a few because I didn't get much of a time to prepare because it was yesterday only. So yeah. So for Thank one book, to welcome Charan. Uh, others, I think it is clear, right? So make sure and read the sentence one or two. And there are times when there is no error also. You know, and we try to see, oh, there is an error. There is an error. But there are times when there are no errors also in that. And then when there is no error, you can just write. But that's the most difficult part of it. When there is a perfect sentence and you are really thinking, is there an error? Is there an error? Then you, you really try to bring in errors when they're not errors. OK. Yeah. So yes, one more. Yeah. Wait. One minute. Yes, Let me just see one thing. One word substitution. Yeah. Bye, ma'am. OK. We're having one word substitution. Who's this by here? We'll do for five minutes and then we'll just go, okay? Yeah. yeah. Just one word. Oh, wait, one word substitution for generic terms. No, I was thinking. Yeah, I think these all you must be very, very uh, familiar with because you're doing it, but then I just thought maybe, you know, it is. The one word substitution for garments and garment systems, a state of disorder due to the absence of non recognition of authority or other controlling systems. You call it anarchy, right? When there is no government system and oh, there's an anarchy over there. We say in that country, there's just a complete anarchy. So anarchy is when you do not have a proper authority to rule the uh, a proper government and there is a lot of disorder. Have you heard anarchy? I think you, you should be knowing this, right, students? Yeah, ma'am. Yes or no, everybody? Yeah, ma'am. Yes? So should we do it or what do you think? Yes, ma'am. 
Okay, a form of government in which power is held by the nobility, that is aristocracy. Where is it aristocracy? Where do you find a uh, government uh, in which the power is still by the nobility? There is the the uh, aristocracy, right? Still in some countries, where is it? Where there is a monarchy, where is uh, the queen is or the king is the ruler? European nations, British yes, nations. Yes, that's monarchy. When one person is uh, ruling, we call it monarchy. A system of government by one person with absolute power. Autocracy, right? Auto, somebody who is just ruling it. That's called one person is autocracy. A self-governing country or region, it is autonomy. Okay, what is ours? What is the Indian uh, democracy? Democracy. 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 By Yes, the whole people or the eligible members of a state typically through elected representatives where we have the right for the people by the people, right? So that's democracy. What's bureaucracy? A system of government in which most of the important decisions are taken by state officials rather than by the elected representatives. So it is bureaucracy. A state society a group of governed by old people. It's Gerontocracy, it seems, even I've heard this first time. Okay. A state or country run by the worst, least, or qualified or most unscrupulous citizens. Oh, is it something like this also? It is called cacistocracy. Wow. New words, huh? Good. Government by new or inexperienced hands. Neocracy. Neo means new, right? Have you heard about it? Neo. No, ma'am. New, anything that is new. Yeah, uh, ma'am. That's a yeah, new. Yeah, ma'am. Right? Neoliberalism. Yeah, like so that. anything yeah. that is uh, something very nascent or something new that's called, in, that's called new, okay? Government by the populace, okay? Ochlocracy, what does that mean? We'll find out exactly what exactly this means. I'm sorry, I, even I am also not able to understand what exactly this means, okay? A small group of people having control of a country or organization Oligarchy. Oligarchy. Yeah. Okay. Government by the wealthy. You can have this also. Somebody who is ruling, only the wealthy people are ruling the country. It's called plutocracy. Right. Introduction. Pardon? What is it? Who was that? Sorry? Okay. Government connected with no religious or spiritual matters. That is called secular. When when with um, no religious or spiritual matters, right? India is also a secular, right? Because uh, uh, we every person is free to choose their own religion. That's called secular. A form of government with a monarch at the head. That's monarchy. So which country is having the monarchy? We have the United Kingdom, right? Recently, the Queen of England uh, uh, expired. We know, right? The Victoria, the two, and uh, King Charles has taken over the monarchy. Yes. Are you aware yeah, of it? We all are aware of it, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. A political system based on the government of men by God is called thearchy. So, thearchy, it, in the olden times when we had a lot of uh, people who used to rule, mostly, I think, the Roman countries where the church was the head of it. That's called where we call uh, it. During British era, ma'am. During British era, we have that uh, theorchy, ma'am. No, British era wasn't a theorchy, yeah. yeah. It was mostly... Uh, in uh, some states of there, Vatican. like some colonies Vatican. of the British Vatican, Vatican, yes. The Roman countries, the Vatican, where the yeah. Pope is the head and the church is still the head. That is uh, the theorchy, correct. Okay, so list of words for venue or spots. Okay, a collection of historical documents or records providing information about a place, institution, a group of people. You must have heard about it, the archives, right? When you have all the uh, 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 everything, documents, uh, old documents, and then nowadays you even have your videos, the footages, the photographs, everything stored somewhere. It's called the archives okay a large cage building or enclosure to keep birds you must have heard about it aviary like zoo that's called an aviary 
a building where animals are butchered. Oh my God. Okay, it's called an abattoir. Okay. A place where bees are kept, a collection of beehives is called an apiary. A building containing tanks of live fish of different species is aquarium. A place or scene of activity, debate or con conflict is an arena. Okay, where you just go in that or go to that arena where there's some activity going on. We have heard about it, right? A collection of weapons and military equi equipment is called arsenal. An institution for the care of people who are mentally ill. Then asylum, right? Have you heard about asylum? Oh, ah, yeah, ma'am. Everybody uh, has heard about Sharon Ardulu. Hmm. Like uh, Sharon Ardulu means uh, now we are having uh, Myanmar people in India. Hmm. Yeah, those. Oh, that's oh, the, oh, you're talking about that asylum. Okay, fine. Oh, okay, fine. Okay. This is they're talking about an a place where mentally ill. Okay. A hmm. hole or a tunnel dug by small animals, especially a rabbit as a dwelling. That's called a burrow. Oh. Animal, that's a rabbit is a burrow. What's the, the house of a mouse called? A rat or a mouse? It's called a hole itself, okay? The mouse and the, 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 the this is called a... And what's the house of a dog called? Kennel. 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 And a horse? Uh, stay. Table. Uh, table. Stable. 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 A collection of items of the same type stored in a hidden or inaccessible place. It's called a cache, it seems. I thought it's a treasure. Okay. A public room or building where gambling games are played. Casino. Casino. It's a casino. casino. You heard about casinos where you just go. And what's the speciality of a casino? You do not have something there. They don't have rules. They don't have clocks. <laughs> you will not know what uh, time is it. They do not have clocks over there. Okay. And, and, and normally in Vegas, when you go to a, a casino, they do not have uh, clocks. Okay. That's the reason you do not know when you go, when you come out, if it's a day or a night. That's how it is. A large burial ground, especially one not in a churchyard. Symmetry. Like it's called symmetry. a symmetry. Yeah. A room in a public building where outdoor clothes or luggage may be left you no, see right yeah a cloakroom a place where a dead person body is cremated it's called a crematorium mm. yeah so these are very simple a person who studies uh plans is called a i'm just asking out of i've seen these questions in your uh, papers a person who studies plans A study, study of plants. Botanist or botanist, yes. Bot a, botanist. Yeah. a person who studies uh, animals is a zoologist. Botanist. Yes. Florist. A Christian community. Florist flowers, right? Yeah. yeah. A Christian community of nuns living together under monastic vows. It's called a convent. Oh. Yeah, a nursery where babies and young children are cared for during the working day. Where uh, the parents uh, leave their babies and go, that's called a daycare. No, daycare, but there's another crutch. that's called a crutch. Nowadays, we call it a daycare, but it's normally uh, the, the initial the word was a crutch. A stoppered glass container in which wine or spirit is decanted. It's called a decanter. It'll have it's like a bottle and it'll have a glass top. Okay, it's called a decanter. A large bedroom for a number of people in a school or an institution. What is it called? Dormitory. Dormitory. Yeah, dormitory. A nest of yeah, dormitory. A nest of a squirrel, typically in the form of a mass of twigs in a tree. That's called a dray. That's called a dray. Even I okay, I didn't know this. This is a new thing for me also. 
a room or building equipped for gymnastics, games, and other physical exercises. You've heard about this, right? Gymnasium. Yeah. It's actually we say I'll go to this gym, gym, gym. Gym is a shorter form of gymnasium. gymnasium. Yeah, it's actually a gymnasium. A storehouse of fresh filled, uh, uh, where to keep grains is called a granary. 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 Right. granary. A large building with an extensive floor area, typically for housing aircraft, aircrafts. Hangar. It's hangar. hangar. It's a hangar where, uh, where, uh, like you know, a bus depot is a place where, you, where the buses are uh, resting. Bus depot. The hangar is where the aircrafts are kept. Okay. A box or cage, typically with a wire mesh front, for keeping rabbits or other domesticated animals. It's called a hutch. Okay. Yeah, a place in a large institution for the care of those who are ill. It's called the infirmary. It's called an infirmary. Um, Something like, you know, you have a sick bay in the school where there's a nurse and there's a room where you sleep and the small in the schools, you know, uh, you do not have big, big hospitals in schools, right? Or in your, what do you call it, uh, uh, hostels. So there will be one room with two beds and there'll be a nurse and there'll be a few medicines that is called a infirm where you just go whenever you're not well, you go to the, that room, right? Sometimes in school to just lie down and the nurse will give you one medicine. Have, you all have gone, right? You all, did, did your schools have infirmaries? Oh, yeah, ma'am. Infirmaries, yeah, it's called an infirmary, sorry. Yeah, so that's called it. A small shelter for a dog? Kennel. 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 Okay. A place where wild animals live. Okay, it's a lair. True. Okay. Let me just check. Where is, uh, where do you go for, uh, where's a uh, uh, mint? Yeah, ma'am. Coins, coins, uh, coins and notes are printed. Coins are stamped, notes are printed. Yes, a place where coins and notes are, uh, you know, printed. That's called, yeah? Right. Okay. And then that's called the lair, it seems. Okay, a place where uh, wild animals live is called the lair. Okay, so a collection of wild animals kept in captivity for exhibition. My mom. It's called a managery, okay? So these things, we will do it in the next class, students. I'll, I'll send it, okay? You just go through it and you know where the bodies for identifying your dead and dead bodies are kept. It's a monastery, where's a reservoir and what's an orchard? Uh, fruits. Uh, Fruit. Like, yeah. Where the trees, yeah, fruit trees. Yeah, fruit, okay. fruit trees. Yeah, where all the plants are there, that's called an orchard. And the flowers which you put, that are called orchids. That's an orchard and that's an orchid, the uh, pronunciation, fine? Yes, so we'll do the spellings in the next class. I'll just prepare a few more and then this I'll just take up a, a PDF and I'll just send it off so that you can go through it, okay? Because for one word substitution, there are many, many things they have asked, so, right. So in the next class, what should we do? Anything in specific you want me to? The rules of active, passive, and the uh, direct and directs. Should we do that? Yes, ma'am. Closed, ma'am. Closed, huh? closed, closed passages. Closed, closed passages. Okay, we'll do that also, and we'll do the other rules. Fine, fine. Okay. Okay, then, yeah. See you in the next class. Till then, study properly. When is your exam? I think from uh, December 1st to 13th, ma'am. Why so many days? December 1st to December 13th. All the 13 days you have papers. No, no, no. no. 
between the between so, those ma'am there are approximately 2 through 2 to 3 lakhs applied for the exam so we'll have slots ma'am every day slot. we have four slots so okay. one person uh, will get one day one slot only ma'am uh, okay. we we'll need to write the exam only at that time ma'am okay good then hope you all are preparing well with all the subjects okay do well and the next class we'll do the close passage and then a little more of a rules and spot the errors i'll see the worksheets and i'll i'll we do it in the next class okay ma'am oh. if possible jumbled sentences also ma'am like uh, say first sentence will be the last or the third uh, in Very any of the is it yeah ma'am but but recent uh, in lic exam recently mm -hmm. i have uh, came across that that part ma'am but it was something typical ma'am not that easy as we as generally we think once okay. please explain ma'am okay sure. if Jumbled. possible no problem we'll do that also okay jumble and close passages and what did you say just now vishnu priya one more small error i have came across i have uh, come yeah. across see yeah. so when you're speaking also make sure that you are speaking correct okay Okay, ma'am. Okay, then. Bye, children. See you in the next class. Till then, Thank happy you, studying. Bye, bye. Bye. Welcome. Bye. Sayra. Okay. Sayra, ma'am, please send PDFs up to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll just send it right away. Yeah, I'll just convert them and I'll send it to you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Welcome. Bye.